friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are doing our monthly favorites. Well, loves, likes, and hard passes, I should say, for the month of May. I cannot believe we're already in May. What? What is happening? Time is flying by. And we have tried so much new makeup this last month, so I want to go over some of the best of the best, some that are still kind of being played with, and then some that are just hard, hard pass. feel like that category is going to be a little bit heavier than the other two, <laughs> just because we did have a lot of fails this month. And if you have been around for a while, you probably already know that <laughs> I've been through a lot of foundations and... A lot of them have not been good. But if you are new here, my name is Amber. I am a former hairdresser turned beauty blogger. We do a lot of makeup, try-ons, a lot of reviews, hauls, and dupe videos. So if that's something that you're interested in, please go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and let's get to it. Okay, so why don't we start off, we'll go from bad to good this time because last time we went from loves to hard passes. Let's try hard passes first and then we'll move into the loves category. So I've got all my buckets in front of me because you guys know I love my buckets full of product. <laughs> and I love doing these videos because it really does give me a little bit more time with the products. And I know that you guys do love my first impression videos of me trying on the makeup and giving you my first impression of how it performs. But I feel like that only gives it part of the story because later on if I'm absolutely loving it or if it's one of those ones that's kind of on the fence and I either hate it later or love it later, I feel like this gives you a little bit more information before going out and making those purchases. The first one that I want to talk about that I did not get to work for me and that I did not like very very much is the Maybelline Sky High Lash Sational Mascara. Everybody and their mom has been talking about this and they absolutely love it. I don't like the brush. I don't mind the four formula so much, but the brush is its way too flimsy and it has no tug to it, meaning that it just kind of glides through like the top of my lashes, but doesn't actually coat them at all. So I feel like it just leaves me with a stubby mess and it just, I do not like this particular mascara. The mascara that I've been loving lately and that is dried out and I need to buy another one is the Voluminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. This is a dupe for the Better Than Sex mascara. I love the brush on this as well. It's nice and firm and it really comes coats those lashes. If you don't like the brush on this one that is way too flimsy and just doesn't have enough stiffness to it, if you have tried this I would hard pass on this. It's just not for me but um, I would go for the L'Oreal because this one gives you volume and length. The next one that is a no-go for me unfortunately mascara wise is from Honest Beauty. The Extreme Lash Mascara and Lash Primer. Not a huge fan of this. I demonstrated this in a video trying some new makeup and I don't like the primer. The mascara wand itself is really good. I like it, but I do not like the formula. It is clumpy and honestly, it's just not for me. It just weighed down my lashes. It didn't give me any sort of fullness. It didn't give me uh, any extra length that I wouldn't have had otherwise. So honestly, it's not worth the money. It's kind of gimmicky. So the next thing I did not like <laughs> at all this month was the Milani, let's see here. This one is the Hyper Pigmented Eye and Face Palette. It looks like this. This is in Gilded Ember. It was a free palette that I got when I bought a bunch of Milani lipsticks, which I will talk about those later, but this color story just isn't for me. I don't like the formula of the shadows right here. I feel like they're pressed glitter and they tend to break up or blend away. They really don't have much pigment. They say that they're high pigment or highly pigmented or hyper pigmented. They're not. The only thing I do like is the mattes in here. The mattes in here are all right. They blend out quite well, but they do blend out to the almost nothing if you over blend them. I'm having a real hard time with this palette and in the very beginning it was okay, but then I played with it more and more and it just wasn't for me. I like these two colors here, but again, they are softer and they're more of a satin finish than they are like a glitter press glitter finish, which is nice, but it's not worth the rest of the palette to, to save it. So, okay. So the next thing that I dislike <laughs> so bad, it's really a hard pass for me. This is the Ultra Black Caution Mascara from Hourglass. I don't like this. The brush is not great. I don't know if you can see that. The brush is not great. It doesn't have a whole lot of catch when you go through your lashes and the formula is so overly thick that it's really hard for it not to clump. So I just, I'm not a huge fan of this. 
and it was in my backup drawer and I pulled it out for one of my videos that was like high-end products that I was testing that were really good. I tried this and ended up going with a different mascara for that video because this one was so terrible. We talked about this last month and I know that I said it was kind of in the maybe pile but it has been moved to the hard pass pile. What I'm talking about is the putty bronzer from e.l.f. I can't do it. I cannot use this bronzer. I don't know if it's the color or the consistency. I just, I'm not a fan. So when I put it on the back of my hand, it just, I don't know if it's the color. Uh, it's more of an orangey undertone for me. So when it blends out, it just does not blend out well with my skin tone. I just can't get over this. This one is in tan lines. I'm really not interested in the putty products, unfortunately. Even the putty bronzer, I'm kind of like, mm. I'd rather use my, which of course it's really, really high end, my Tatcha Luminous Silk Putty that I just absolutely love. I don't think Elf's putty products are as good as everyone makes them out to be, or they just do not work for me and my skin type. I mean, that's completely my honest opinion. I just feel like there's better products out there for from the drugstore that you can get that um, would probably perform a little bit better and don't have such a learning curve to them. Okay, so let's talk about some foundations and then we'll get into a lip product that I've been disliking. So this one is Maybelline Green Edition and these are their super drops. Did not work for me, has terrible coverage and honestly is a cakey mess and does not play well with other products. So this is definitely a hard pass. I was not having it not good i just mm. if you've been around for a little while and uh, this is one of those videos that i posted as well that hi or i got more views on it than most of my other videos because i was one of the first ones to put out a video on it and what i'm talking about is the danessa myricks yummy skin blurring bomb powder this is just a weird product and i just i can't get over how weird and i just I don't know. It's just not for me when I put it on as a foundation because you're supposed to be able to use it as a primer, a foundation, or a highlight. And as a foundation, it looked awful. Like, aged me probably 10 years. I tried to use it as maybe a primer for other foundations, but anything that you lay over it is going to be just a cakey mess. So just not for me. I, I hate to say that because I hate to say that about products, period. I think for oilier people, somebody who has more oily skin, this would be great because it does help with those oils. But if you're dry, this is not for dry girls. If you have dry skin, not for you. And I think I said that in that video as well. I'll link it up here if you guys have not seen it, but it's it's not good. So I'm hard passing. And this is like my ultimate hard pass is this product. I just, it's not good. I'm really hoping that this coming month that if we try some more foundations that maybe are more on the drugstore side, we can find something that's really good. My favorite is L'Oreal. I think it's a infallible foundation. Freaking fabulous. Who knew a drugstore foundation could look so good? And it's like my exact color because I'm so rosy underneath. It's it's beautiful. Absolutely love it. And yeah, that, that one is from the drugstore. Chef's Kiss, so good. And I've got a couple of older products that I haven't talked about on my channel in a really long time that I actually re-fell in love with doing Shop My Sash. So I wanna thank you guys. I re-fell in love with some products. <laughs> they have not been moved to loves just because I'm still playing with them and kind of gauging what they can and cannot do. What I'm talking about is the LA Girl Soft Matte Cream Blush in Cutie and Grace. So I really, really like these colors and I feel like together they just make the be most beautiful combination and that's probably why they're in the likes category and not the loves category because there's two separate ones. One is Grace, one is Cutie. This one is Grace and let me share it out a little. It's a little too pigmented for my liking on its own, but with Cutie on top, let me go ahead and just put this little guy right here. This is Cutie, and let me share that out. Looks like that. They're beautiful together. That's how I've been wearing them. I've been actually putting them on the back of my hand like this, and then mixing them because they come out to this most gorgeous. See, that? that is the color I like. So what I do is I'll do this on the back of my hand, and I will take 
this one's dirty, but this is a stipple brush. I will go in with a stipple brush on my hand and then pat it on to my cheeks. I have been loving this combination if I'm looking for a peachy pink tone. And I think together these guys are just beautiful. I don't feel like they can hold up on their own, but together they're a match made in heaven. The next thing that I've been liking a lot more that I didn't realize that <laughs> I kind of have been neglecting and I'm so glad that I fell back in love with this. This is a single eyeshadow, which I never hardly ever use unless it's in my palette. What I'm talking about is this palette. <laughs> That is the Stila Magnificent Metals Eyeshadow in Kitten. And this used to go viral. Like this was a viral color. Nobody could get their hands on it. It was always sold out. Stila was like on top of their game with these. And I have a sample size that I pulled out for an inner corner highlight on one video way back when it was shot my stash. I have it all over my eyes today. It's so beautiful. You can just dab it and put it on. I feel like it doesn't crease. It sits beautifully on top of powder shadows. So I couldn't have asked for more than that. This is something that I'll be using more and more on my channel, I think, until it's gone, even though it's just a little guy. I really do like it. I, I have fallen back in love with using single eyeshadows. So that's actually pretty cool. And then the last thing I wanna talk about are the nudie sticks. These are the minis. This one is called Hey Honey. This one is Blondie Bay. And this one is Bohemian Rose. So. It is a, a contour highlight and cream blush stick and they came all together in a mini set. I used this in a video not too long ago and I've been using them off camera as well and they're really fun and I've been getting more into cream products and I actually really like the way that these blend out as well. The undertones are really nice. I mean you can use your finger to blend them out or you can use a brush. I think that they are so cute. They come in a little tin. They kind of keep themselves all contained in this little tin here. I couldn't have asked for a better product so I really enjoy these. I don't think I would buy them in a huge stick because knowing me they probably go off before I could use them all but I love the mini versions of these because of the fact that you get the tone, you get the color and there is quite a bit of product in these minis. So let's talk about my loves this month because there is a few things. I have been loving lately, obviously off camera. Um, I only have used this once on my channel, but I've been loving it off camera. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation in 150. I've been loving this. I love the fact that it comes with a pump and that it is just a beautiful glowy finish without being too much. I feel like you get just enough glow and if you wanted to set it with a little bit of under eye powder, which you guys of course know that I absolutely love, my powder compact from number seven and I use a little bit of that underneath the eye because I usually don't use concealer with this because it has enough coverage and I'll use it in the t-zone just to kind of keep me a little bit more mattified but I love this on the cheeks and the forehead it just gives me a beautiful glow this has been a game changer and I never I mean it sat in my drawer for a little while before I actually picked it up but I've been loving this off camera and it doesn't oxidize either that's the best part and there's like 50 shades I think something crazy so uh, it's it's been nice it's been really 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 nice so the next thing I've been absolutely loving of course because it's becoming summer around here and I love me a good dewy finish. I've been using the Glow Screen with SPF 40 from Supergoo. I love this product. Being combo to dry, this has really been a game changer. Obviously prepping my skin and getting it ready for the day. I love this just because it does give me that glowy sheen without being overly glittery, but it just gives me that glow I'm looking for. And the fact that it has SP at 40, you can't beat that. I've been using this in conjunction with the Unseen sunscreen. I used the Unseen when we went to the Bahamas. I've been using this now that we are back in Texas. So this is definitely something I'm going to be using all summer. I did get this in the small mini version. It comes in the big version because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but I would definitely repurchase this in the big guy. Okay, so let's talk about a little bit of lip products because I've been going through so many lip products. There's so much stuff I have in my purse at the moment, but I had to pull them out for this video. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is this <laughs> Milani Fetish Matte Lipstick in 430 Secret. This color is stunning. I love the formulation. It was made in Italy. The color on this is 
beautiful. Highly recommend. I think that this color is universal. Anybody can wear this color. It's so pretty. I keep it in my purse and just reapply it like crazy because it's gorgeous. It stays on, it stays put, it doesn't feather. It's not overly drying and doesn't show all of the lip lines. The, the formulation in the, the actual product itself is not too stiff, but it's not too soft. And the pigmentation is just so amazing. One swipe of this lipstick and you're good. You do not need to, I do because I'm crazy. I go through and put it on over and over and over because I just love the color. But if you just do one swipe, you're gonna have so much pigmentation. It's, it's beautiful. It's so great. And I love the fact that I have so many colors of this, but this is my favorite one, a secret. It's the perfect pink. If I'm looking for a more dewy finish and I'm looking for maybe just a little bit of color, not too much color, but let's say my lips are dry, my favorite lip balm so far has been the Hydrating Core Lip Shine from e.l.f. This one is in the shade Happy. I love this so much because it's got the hydration that you're looking for, the pigmentation you're looking for, and it just keeps my lips nourished. It's so amazing. The formulation on this is just, um, just so good. I was never a tinted lip balm kind of girl, but it is what I have on today. I've been absolutely loving it and it's been living in my purse. I reapply it all the time and the formulation is just fantastic. So definitely highly recommend this one in Happy. So the next lip product that I have been totally obsessed with is from Fenty Beauty. This one is the Fenty Glow Fantasy and I love this gloss. And I never thought I'd say that about a gloss that is shiny, but stranger things have happened. It is absolutely stunning. It's got a little bit of a dual chrome reflect of like purple in it and it just is gorgeous. I love it so much and it plays well with other lip products and just kind of amplifies that and has a really nice smell to it too and it's not overly sticky. So this is highly recommended and I would definitely repurchase this in the big size. So the next thing I've been absolutely loving, it's newer to my collection, is this Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer. It's absolutely gorgeous. It looks like a powder in the pan. And the funny thing with this as well is that it is a little bit more stiff, but it blends out on the skin beautifully. If you go in with a stipple brush and just kind of blend it onto the skin, it doesn't disrupt any of the foundation or anything underneath it. It doesn't give you harsh lines and it doesn't oxidize to an orange undertone, which is amazing because a lot of times with these cream bronzers, they oxidize on your skin and turn more on the warmer, more orange or red side. This one does not do that. It is more neutral than anything and it's really good for us fair girls, which is really hard to come by. I feel like a lot of cream bronzers are meant for more medium to darker skin tones just because they do pull more orange and they have darker undertones to them. This one is a more neutral undertone and this is a fair and there is a medium, but the medium again is more warm. That's why I picked this one up, what I have on today. And it just blends out really beautifully. It just gives you that warm kiss of glow without being too much. I couldn't have asked for more. And what I like to pair it with is the next product that I've been loving, which is so funny because it came in right under the wire of this month's favorite videos because I would have had to wait till next month. But what I'm talking about is the M Cosmetics Sculpting Powder Bronzer in Slip. And again, this one is a powder bronzer that has more of a neutral undertone. It doesn't have the warm or the gray undertones that a lot of these bronzer and contour powders do. This one is more neutral and it's perfect for, again, our rosy or red undertoned girls. I think that it is a beautiful combination with the Charlotte Tilbury. They just play really well together and it's what I have on today. I couldn't have asked for a better combination. It was completely by accident. It's just a match made in heaven. I've been using these nonstop and since they came into my collection, I'm sure that you will see them again on my channel because obviously I love to promote products that really work well, especially for somebody who has more rosy and red undertones in their skin or are more cool toned. And I know that they are on the more expensive side. I'm hoping that someday I can find good dupes for these two, but at the moment these two are just worth every single penny. They are worth your money. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching this video and clicking on my other videos because you guys have just been absolutely amazing. If you have any feedback on content that you want to see, please let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next one. Love you guys. I'll see you soon.
Bye. <laughs>